Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Wireshark CTF. Going to do some awesome uh, learning with Wireshark. If you could, go to this link that I put in the Discord chat, and I'll also put it in Twitch. Go ahead and click on the register button. Enter a username for yourself. Email, don't worry about. You can just put anything. It'll just, it doesn't matter what you put in. And a password. For this event, you will be needing Wireshark. So if you don't have that installed already, please do so. Once you are in, you'll see an array of challenges. Um, my name is Irvin, and I will be focusing mostly on the beginner category. Sam and Liz are also here on both Discord and Twitch. So if you get stuck anywhere, please feel free to ask away. We are here to help you. So once you have created your account, Scroll all the way down to beginner. That's where I will have my focus on today. If you have any experience with Wireshark and want to try the other questions, go for it. All the, all the categories are open and available. So feel free to try your hand out at all these categories. Just like with all the CTFs that we do, these are not serious CTFs. Uh, I'm sure we'll record the winners and, and put them on Sam's site as we normally do. So feel free to try your hand at any of the questions. Like I said, I will be focusing most of the time in the beginner category. And as time permits, we'll jump everywhere else. But please feel free to ask away. If we are going too fast, please also say so. So with that, we'll begin with the first question, 1001. In all of the beginner category, you'll see some text that, that prepares you for the question. So if uh, you wanna come back later and read the content and, and see what, you know, what, the, what the question had, you are more than welcome to. This CTF will remain up. For most questions, with exception of a few, you'll need to download the PCAP file for it. In this case, this is the link to the file you need to download. So simply click on it and download it. And then open it in Wireshark. In this very first trace file, as the question says, the client makes a TCP connection to Wireshark.org and requests for the default page, as shown in packet number 10. Here is the client talking to the server. That's the, the source for the client, the destination for the server, talking to or requesting the default page, the home page, get slash. We can also see that if we expand the details pane, here's the specific get request. There is the get, the URI for the specific place. The server responds in packet 14, and we know that this is a direct response to 10 because on the left, you have these little arrows that signify which way the traffic is going. So there's the request from the server saying, okay, what we are looking for in this very first question is a packet where the client is requesting the, the download.html page. 
So it's going to look similarly to this packet, packet number 10. The difference is that we're going to look for the, the packet that is requesting the, uh, the download page. Now we can do this a couple of ways. We can use the right click function. For example, uh, going back to packet 10, digging down in the get request, right clicking that get request, apply as a filter, selected. This will make a display filter for us and filter out all packets that had a get request. Because again, the packet that we're looking for looks like it, but it's asking for the download page. So you could do what I just did, and I'll do it once again. From packet number 10, I opened up the hypertext transfer protocol. I opened the get request itself. I highlighted over the request method, right-clicked, apply the filter, selected. And then a scroll down, just scroll around and you'll find get slash download.html. That is just one of many ways that you can get to the answer. Let us know when you get it, and then we'll do the next question. Okay. The next question is much more simpler. You will open another PCAP file, one that's specifically to virtual lands. And what we're looking for is the information that's hiding behind these squares. So easily, Download the file, open it in Wireshark, and then look at the two sections that are hidden. That will tell you what VLAN number the communication is happening on. And although we can't see all the details of the traffic, we can see where it's going from to and what VLAN the communication is occurring on. Once again, to simply download the VLAN uh, file, look at packet number one, and you should be able to quickly see the information we are looking for, the ID number of the virtual LAN that this communication is occurring on. Question 1003 is also a simple answer. When you open a Wireshark file, like right now I still have the first file that we used in the first question open. Over here, down at the bottom in the status bar, it tells you the total number of packets that are in the trace file as well 
as the number of packets that are displayed currently due to whatever filter is applied. So if I used the filter from the first question, you can see that the number has significantly dropped in the displayed. Oops, I did the, I did the wrong one. There we go, yeah. So in, in this case, in the first question, 74 packets are visible, which is just 0.3% out of the 23,000 packets. Question 1003 is simply saying, open this trace file and look in that area. And you'll see the answer right away. Questions 1004, 5, 6, and 7 all relate to the same picture. And it's all about what can the two Wireshark devices see? So for example, question 1004 asks what clients can Wireshark number one listen to? Question two ask the same question, but from the perspective of Wireshark number two. Thousand six, ask can Wireshark number two, which is over here, see server A. And a thousand seven, can Wireshark number two see 10.1.0.0. .0 .0? This CTF does not have a specific flag format. So you are able to put things like yes or no directly without any, any curly brackets or any funny uh, configuration for your questions. Uh, th this is true for all questions in this CTF. Uh, so what question are you stuck on? A thousand four can be the letters together, can be the letters separated by a comma, or the letters separated by a space. <clears throat> 